start with an opening statement from Coach. Uh, congratulations to William and Mary for a well played game, and uh, congratulations to uh, their moving on to the next round. Um, I thought our guys, uh, you know, we did what we typically do. We laid it all, left it all out on the line, and uh, we just came up a little, <laughs> a lot of bit short tonight. So, uh, time's yours. Marcus. He shot uh, two for 22 the first time around from three, this time 11 for 33s. Uh, coach was saying they got a little bit better looks. Is that what you also saw? Oh, for sure, for sure. We weren't as sharp as we needed to be uh, defensively, and that was one of my concerns coming into the game. Uh, I knew that we had to be really sharp because 47% of their shots come on threes. Um, and we weren't as sharp as we needed to be. Um, so, And then a couple of times when they missed, they got the offensive rebound. And then there were kick out threes, and that really, uh, that really hurt us. I know it's right after a game where your season ended, but when you reflect back onto the season, you had a couple of good moments here in the conference. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the program itself is progressing? Oh, no, for sure. Uh, for us to be our first year, and uh, we'll have an opportunity to really recruit now and uh, bring some guys in. But, you know, reflecting on the season, and the, like you said, the immediacy of a loss, you know, not making excuses, but on January the 21st, we were four and two, um, right where we, uh, we didn't mind being. And then the injury bug hit us. And our program is not to the point right now in one year where we can overcome losing our leading score. Um, and then he comes back and we lose our point guard and then our, all of our big men went down. So I know I can re reflect back on the season and, and see that there's um, obviously there's a lot of room for growth, but there is some, there are some opportunities for that growth to be right within our program. And um, so that's a, that's a pleasant thought for me. And what are some of the challenges? I don't think fans out here realize some of the challenges when you do switch a conference and how that impacts who and how you recruit? Well, to be honest with you, I've, you know, I've cut my teeth in the CAA. So having been um, won a championship in the league and been at Delaware for 10 years as a head coach, you know, I get that part of it. Um, so it's just about, to be honest with you, and going out and getting different players. Uh, but those are the only players that I know. So it's not, not a big deal for me. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we have to, we will upgrade uh, some spots on the roster um, because that's what it calls for. Because, you know, in any league that you're in, um, you're going to have to, the lifeline of anything you do is, is recruiting. So we want to make sure that we're on top of that. If you had to say one thing to a recruit on why to go to A and T, what would it be? Well, it's the number one HBCU in the in the world, so why not? Uh, you get all the advantages of uh, being in a fine academic institution, and also, you know, we're in a tremendous, tremendous basketball conference. So, you know, when you couple those things together, it's. Uh, it's a place where I think we'll be able to get some guys here. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.